Hi, welcome to Drive North. My name is Matt, and this is our Mallard bunkhouse camper. And today I'm going to show you how we repaired our broken screen door. Our camper sees a lot of action, and recently the screen developed a rip and became detached from the frame. So it's time to put in new screen material. Now the first thing you need to do is actually take the door off, and it's pretty easy. It's held in place with these three hinges. Each hinge has two screws, and they come off pretty easy with a Phillips screwdriver. Next, it's good to have an elevated workspace when you do this job. I'm using this nice foldable sawhorse. Now the screen comes off from the inside of the door, but on the outside we need to take off the latch, and that comes off with a couple screws again with a Phillips screwdriver. Next, we need to take off these little rubber strips here. You um, pry them loose, and then you just pull them right out. These are actually called screen retainer splines, and once they come loose, they peel right out. Obviously, there's one on each side of the door. Next, I like to mask off the area that I'm working at with some tape. We're going to be using a razor blade later on, and this just helps prevent any scratches if you slip with the knife. Now, grab your new screen material. This is stuff you can pick up at Menards, Home Depot. It's not that expensive. Usually comes in a 36 by 84 inch roll. They do have different levels of quality. I like to buy the more heavy duty materials. It's more durable. Next, place the screen material over the area that you're working on. Make sure it does overlap each side by a couple inches. And then you take your screen retainer spline and you get it into place. There's a little channel and you just press the spline into the channel. Get it started with your thumb or fingertips and then you take your screen roller tool. Not that expensive tool. You can again pick these up Menards Home Depot for four to five dollars. Now on one side it has a convex roller. On the other side it has a concave roller. Uh, the concave side works really well to get that spline pressed into the channel. So you start by uh, just pressing that uh, rubber spline into the channel and then using good steady pressure with some short choppy strokes you just continue along the edge and push that spline into place. Now I'm using the existing spline that was on the door already because this door is not old the spline was in good condition. I mean if you're replacing the screen because of age you might want to go ahead and get some new spline material. Again, it's not that expensive. And on a side note, note this is the same material, the same process, the same tools that would, you would use on a window screen or a porch or patio screen door. So again, um, go along each side. Start off by pressing that spline into place with your fingers and use the roller tool to finish getting that spline back into the channel. And as I go along I do put some pressure, I pull on that screen to make sure there's no loose folds in it when you're done. Next we're going to trim off that excessive screen material using a utility knife. I like to start the job by putting in a new blade. Just make sure you get a nice clean efficient cut when you're doing this. So right along the spline there just a nice, steady, even pressure. Take your time so you don't uh, slip and put a scratch in your door. Even though we have tape there, um, a slip could cut right through that tape. Go along each edge. Sometimes it helps if you pull on the fabric a little bit to, get, to make that cut go nice and easy. Now on a side note, um, our camper is not that old. I'm replacing this um, screen door after only two years, but like I said, our camper gets a lot of action. Not only does our family use this camper quite a bit, we rent this camper out too. So this is getting used almost nonstop. It's out every single weekend. And if you're interested, I have some videos coming up where we're going to talk about how you can rent out your RV, how, how you do that, what it looks like, some things to expect, some tips, and I'll talk about how much money we make because it turns out there's a lot of demand and it's very it can be very beneficial. So back to the job here. Um, once you cut away all the excessive or excess fabric, um, I go around and I look to see if that retainer spline is sticking up or sometimes it could come loose as you're making your cuts. Use that roller tool, um, get it back into place. 
And when you're done, you have a nice, freshly repaired screen door. We'll go ahead and remove that tape, and it's time to put the door back on the frame. Again, it helps if you have a second person helping, but the frame or the door goes right back on the frame on the three hinges, two screws to each hinge. Just use your screwdriver, put it back into place, and you are good to go, ready to head out on your next camping trip. So hopefully this video helped a few of you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.